Hey guys, so this is a very different video than I normally do, and if you think this is going to be some kind of comedy video, you're wrong. You have found yourself going to court, whether you are a witness, whether you are going there to support someone else, maybe you're getting a divorce, maybe jury duty. You want people to take you seriously, and I have been in the courtroom many times and seen what some people wear and it just it pains me because you're already giving yourself a strike against you before you even open your mouth um, people aren't taking you seriously and um, this is the video that I would show to those people um, before they they make that mistake and you know we all wish the court system wasn't like that but sorry people do judge a book by its cover and so these are the rules that you need to follow so that you can be heard, be taken seriously. The number one thing is that you want to make sure that you're showing, you're putting forth an effort. This might be a costume, um, this is not how you normally dress, but you're showing respect to the judge, respect to the other people in the room by dressing in a certain uniform so that you're taken seriously, right? You don't want to be trendy. Um, you kind of want to dress like you're going to a funeral, going to, because I would say church, but some people's churches are very different. You don't want to show cleavage at all. You want to cover up any tattoos or piercings. If you have nose piercings, eyebrow piercings, I would just take them out. Um, wear little to, you know, no jewelry if possible. I have these tiny earrings on today. Something like that's fine. Don't wear stilettos or, you know, try to wear either flats or, or low heels or something that you're comfortable in but not, no stilettos. Just very conservative, very soft, you want to look fresh. And let's get to the makeup which is, um, you know, my favorite part. You want to cover up any dark circles you have, any kind of, maybe you've been crying a lot, you're upset about this issue. You want to look fresh, awake, confident, not that you've had a ton of sleepless nights over this. Make sure you don't put a lot of harsh black eyeliner underneath your lash line. That just makes you look a lot older, a lot more worn, not attractive. Um, if anything, maybe some, some brown or, you know, put eyeshadow down there, a light, you know, a light brown eyeshadow or something. Uh, eyelashes are key. Make sure you're wearing really good waterproof mascara. You don't want it running down your face. That would just be horrible because you never know when you might cry. Lashes that are, you know, full, open, make you look awake and make you look younger. Skip heavy contouring and focus more on just, you know, that youthful, plump face look. Use a less pigmented um, lipstick or a lip balm, not something like heavy magenta or red lipstick, something very natural looking just to give some color and moisture to your lips. Skip eyeshadow if you can. Make sure you don't, you don't want a heavy black, um, you know, outer V on your eyeshadow. You just want something light, natural, matte colors, no shimmer. Um, you want to look well groomed. You want to have your eyebrows, you know, in place. You want to look like you take care of yourself. Um, you want to look even, no hairs out of place and take care of all that. Moisturize well, if possible. Don't have long, thick nails on, um, you know, no nail polish, short nails would be best, but if you've already got them on, then no glitter anywhere on your face. If you want a, a subtle, you know, highlight, that's fine, but you just don't want to look too overdone. Now, those are my tips. If you agree, disagree, please put it in the comments below. If you have anything you would like to add, please feel free to put it in the comments below. Um, and I, you know, once again, let me just say, it's really not fair that people judge a book by its cover, but they do. So if you want a um, step ahead of everyone else, please follow these tips, and I hope they're helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.